Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a holiday haul, so showing you a few bits that I've got for my holiday. But if you're new around here, then hi, my name's Sarah Jane, this is my channel Bella Coco. I make um, video tutorials of how to crochet, which go out every Sunday, but um, I also do lifestyle videos as well. I am introducing them much more than I used to have, so if you like these videos, then make sure you give my videos a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date. So if you don't know I am currently pregnant. I am expecting a baby girl in uh, October. <laughs> I didn't forget then honestly I'm just completely hot and just thinking I need a fan on but it would be way too loud to have through the video. So some of these things are maternity things but a lot of them aren't so there's going to be a mixture um, and I have also done a bit of shopping in all different places so first of all I'm going to start off with New Look I have purchased quite a few things at New Look just recently uh, not necessarily for my holiday so I won't show you them all um, but for New Look in particular they are really really good for maternity so first of all from their maternity range I picked up this really pretty <laughs> <laughs> really pretty dress um, it has sleeves that come down just above the shoulder and you can also um, sort of tie them in a bow on your shoulder shoulder this is an elbow <laughs> so the sleeves come down to your elbow and they can tie at your elbow it it can be a little bit revealing so I don't because my chest has grown quite a lot <laughs> since being pregnant I'm not sure if I've got to find something that what I can put just here so it's not quite so revealing uh, but it's really nice it gives you plenty of room for your bump um, and the fabric's really nice as well so as I say that particular one was from the maternity range and it was $14.99 um, I got it in a size 10 which is my usual size and it actually fits really really well so really pleased with that one the next thing I got is from ASOS, again I bought quite a few things from ASOS just recently, not necessarily for my holiday though, but this was really nice, I forget how much this was, um, I think it might have been in the sale, Just it was under £10 I'm pretty sure, but again it's from their maternity range and it's just a polka dot top with um, no sleeves, really nice, uh, like quite well cut sleeves so they're not getting right up under your arms which is good in these hot days um, but that's really really nice just something to throw on keep you nice and cool um, in the holiday or through the summer um, so that was about the one of the only things I got from ASOS which was actually for holiday um, the next place that I like to shop is Next they do some really really lovely things I'm saying that not all of this is maternity, but everything that I've showed you so far is maternity. Uh, this is also uh, a maternity top. Again, really, really nice and light and flowy. This will be really nice for the evening. It's got a V-neck at the front. Um, I don't really know what what material this is. It kind of feels cotton-like, but it's got the nice uh, sort of ruffle to it. There's like ruffles at the bottom. Um, that it, I got again got that in a size 10 and that was £25 so just something to keep me really nice and cool um, next is this dress which I thought would be quite nice for the evenings but also throughout the summer if I've got anything sort of formal that I would need to go to um, this again is from the maternity range um, but it's just got a really nice kind of I don't think you would call this a damask pattern but I don't know what kind of pattern you would call call this leave me a comment down below and let me know um, but just nice flowers and it's also a wrap dress it's very hard to show you this uh, but it's got one larger shoulder and then one smaller shoulder um, and then it kind of wraps around the bump again I'm really not showing you this very well but it's very nice um, and again, I think it would be just super, super comfortable. It's a really nice material, slightly heavier. So I am sort of slightly concerned how it will be in the heat on holiday. Um, we're off to Cyprus, so it does tend to stay quite 
um, hot at night as well, which most places do, but um, because it's a heavier fabric, I'm hoping it's still going to be okay, but I think the fact that it can wrap around will just make it feel really, really comfortable. And also as well, you know, on the plus side with it being a slightly heavier fabric, um, they tend to cover those lumps and bumps that you want to hide. So that is really, really nice. Um, what else? This dress, again, I'm sorry guys, this is actually from maternity again, but I'm pretty sure they do very similar um, styles to this, which is not maternity. It's just a really simple, almost like, not a t-shirt dress, but um, a vest top dress, if that makes sense. Um, it comes down just below the knee. Really, really nice, stretchy fabric. So it's super, super comfortable. I've worn this quite a few times already um, just because it just feels so nice and it's really, really nice and cool in uh, the summertime. I think this was about 10 or 12 pounds. Um, it's fairly basic, but really, really like that one. And again, I'm pretty sure you can get this kind of style just in normal size, um, uh, like normal size, not maternity. Also from Next, I got this swimming costume, which is super, super cute. Um, Next were kind enough to send me a few things. Um, this was one of them. And uh, the reason why I like this so much is because, as well as, I mean, obviously I'm still pregnant, so this doesn't really apply to me, but I thought the concept was really, really cute. So, I had to, this isn't a maternity one, so I had to size up quite a few times. Um, I think this, yeah, I ended up going with a size 14. And in all honesty, it's still a little bit, like, tight around the boobs. But anyhow, the pattern and the colours are just really, really cute. And if you do happen to have a little girl and you are going on holiday... They also do like the mini me style as well. How cute is that with the ruffles? So you and your little girl can be matching on holiday. This is an age nine, I think. Is it an age nine? What does it say? It doesn't say, but um, yeah, I just, that is totally gonna happen when my little girl is older. We're gonna be matching swimming costumes just totally adorable but they do quite a few things uh, like that so the mother um, and daughter uh, matching swimming costumes so make sure you go and check that out I will leave a link in the description bar of where you can find that range but that's super super cute um, also from next I got some sandals look at those they are just so pretty I just love a bit of sparkle. I am a sucker for sparkle. Um, oh, I don't know how much these were now. I think they were £25. Um, I got them in a size 5. I would say they are a touch tight. This is a leather strap here. Um, but I find that the more that I've worn them, the more that they've I've kind of like stretched them, if that makes sense. So if you are ordering online, just be aware of that. Um, I think for me particularly, because of the heat and everything and being pregnant, my feet are slightly swollen anyway. So um, just be aware of that. You might want to size up if you're getting um, something like this. Also from Next, I got this really cute beach bag. It's really nice and big. Um, it's got a pop enclosure. Um, but I just thought it would be absolutely perfect just for popping my things in there, taking it down to the pool or to the beach. Um, and I just really love the, the design of it. This was £28, um, but I love, love, love that. I knew there was something else that I got from New Look which I'm going to take on holiday. Now I have worn this a couple of days ago, um, You, if you follow me on Instagram you might have seen this on my Instagram stories. Um, and also you might have seen it on my vlogs if you follow my vlog channel but again this is from their maternity range I wore this a few days ago and it's been in the washing basket so I've kind of just dug it out there so excuse the fact that it's very very creased um, but this is just a really nice knee length dress with cold shoulders um, which is really nice because 
Um, because I'm quite conscious of my arms since being, well, I've always been a bit conscious of my arms really, but um, especially since being pregnant and piling on a little bit of weight, I feel that it keeps you nice and cool with the cold shoulder, but also kind of covers up the arms a little bit. So I really like that. And this is actually a nursing dress. So I don't know if you can see, but you can lift up this bit here. So when you have the baby, and if you're breastfeeding, it's easy access to your nip nips. <laughs> so the next few things are from uh, Primark. And again, I've worn this so, and I dug it out the wash basket. Do not judge. It is going to be creased. <laughs> so again, this is just a really simple dress. Um, I don't think Primark do uh, maternity wear so I just kind of sized up on a few things so I got this the neck size up and again it's um, just a really simple dress this one's a bit more strappy than the other one I got it in the grey colour again just because I really quite like grey the other options were stripes and they were sort of stripes going this way and I kind of thought is that just going to be make me look wider <laughs> than I already am um, but what I like about this one is it has a slit up the back um, I'd probably say this is about um, halfway down my um, shin and then the slit up the back comes just above the knee so it's not too revealing but again really really comfortable really really cool and just easy to wear I actually might wear this um, for the journey and then pop a cardigan over the top um, just if I get hot and things um, so really like that and I'm pretty sure this was around six pounds um, I can't remember exactly sorry guys but it wasn't very expensive at all I'm pretty sure it's around six pounds I also picked up this um, cover-up for around the pool I didn't try it on um, just because at the time I was trying on quite a lot and I really really needed a wee and I thought no this will be fine um, I picked it up in a medium um, it's almost like a lacy kind of crochet cover up which I thought was quite cool um, again this was like four or six pounds really inexpensive but um, it does fit but it's just a little bit tight around the bump so I don't know if I'm going to end up wearing this um, but I'm going to keep it anyway obviously because when I'm not pregnant hopefully I'll go back to fairly normal and I'll be able to wear that on our next holiday uh, but that's just really nice just something to pop on around the pool what else oh let's stretch over here you also picked up this hat um I tend to get quite a, <laughs> a burnt forehead and scalp so I picked up this hat I did have one for um a couple of years ago when we went on holiday and I loved it and I wore it all the time, even wore it in the pool. Um, that was for our wedding holiday, so I was so conscious of not getting a burnt face or a burnt scalp before the actual ceremony. Um, so because I wore it so much in the pool, uh, that one was in particular was from Matalan. It just kind of went all misshapen. So I picked up another one, again from Primark, Primark and that was three pounds. So it doesn't really matter if it gets ruined, to be honest, because it's just super super cheap um, the other things the last things I got from Primark are these um, flip flops I've worn them already Ugh, disgusting dirty soles um, these are really cute they're dead comfy they actually did have it's almost like um, a knot in the front and these bits were actually longer but I didn't like them being that long so I just snipped them to the end here. They just felt a bit too bulky on the feet. Uh, but I got these in a size 5. Uh, I have to check because sometimes I actually go up um, a size to like a size 6 or something depending on the fit. But uh, these were really good and I think they were around £4. So I've taken the labels off some of these bits because I've already worn them. One thing that I've been really struggling with is finding some good swimwear since being pregnant. Um, I've been sort of fairly large busted 
most of my life anyway for my size but especially now that I'm pregnant they've just grown out of nowhere um, so I have found it quite difficult to to get some swimwear um, what I have found though that places that do swimwear where you can buy separate top and bottom um, and also the sizes for the tops have been pretty good this particular one is from Tesco it's really really cute colour I know that a lot of people don't like to see women who are pregnant in bikinis um, I don't quite know how I'm going to feel about it when I'm actually on holiday just because I do get quite self-conscious anyway and if people stare at me then I don't know how I'll feel but at the same time I'm thinking well it's nothing to be ashamed of it's only a bump and it's really the most natural thing in the world so if people don't like it then they don't look that's one mentality but we'll see how I feel when we're actually out there but this look how bright that is I really love bright bikinis and this is definitely bright I think it actually looks brighter on camera than it does it is in real life but um, you can either have it strapless or the strap um, around the top which is uh, like a halter neck I got this in a much bigger back size than I usually do um, and I also went up a cup size or two as well um, just so that it would fit better so I got that and then I also upsized in the bottoms as well um, again I've taken the labels off these I think the bottoms are about four and the top was about six so pretty much a bargain with that one good old Tesco and then finally I have just been to Matalan picked up another bikini um, again well this top was six pounds um, which is really really nice and then again I upsized on the bottoms and they were three pound so I've got a pink option for bikini and a black option for a bikini Oh, I've just remembered I also do have another swimming costume which is actually a maternity one from Next which is Coral. Where is that? I need to find that. Um, I got this. Again not maternity because Matalan don't do maternity things I don't think. Um, at least not in store. This. This is so cute. So this is again it's just a cover up. Um, it's got a V on the front and then a deep V on the back with this panel going across the back as well but look at these little ruffles how cute are they and they've also got the beading along um, the neckline as well that is so so cute and just really good just for popping on uh, for going down to the pool or if you're going to go and get a drink something like that and that was £14 and I got that in a medium um, just so it was nice and comfortable. I also felt like I needed a few more shorts just so I could pop them on. Um, I like wearing dresses and things but sometimes I think just short options are nice. Again these are just normal they're not maternity so I went up a size and I got this pair of shorts which is like an elasticated waist and this pair of shorts fairly similar just a nice pattern to them and they were £10 each really really nice fabric oh this one actually has some tassels um, really nice fabric really nice lightweight um, and just I think just going to be really easy to wear so they were both uh, £10 and then I also picked up some more of these now I do already have these tops they're just really really basic tops oh I've been wearing these to work actually um, and I do have them in a size 8 uh, which have been going over the bump so I thought I would pick up some more just because they're really easy to use and will look quite nice with the shorts. I got a black one and a white one, they were £4 each um, and as I say I just went up a size, I went to a size 10 um, just so I could grow into them a little bit more. So that is the end of my holiday haul. I really hope that you have enjoyed watching. I shall leave all of the links in the description box below if I can of where you can find these things. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to keep up to date with any of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye.